Hey, how's it going? This is going to be quite a short video. I did have something better planned for today, and then I put it in my computer. Went to go and edit it. Every single file had corrupted on my SD card, so uh, you're stuck with this one today. But anyway, uh, this is a hack that I learned recently. I think it's from TikTok, first time I saw it. And honestly, it has changed my life. If you edit videos, YouTube, whatever, in Premiere Pro, this thing is remarkable, and I'm not even exaggerating. So, okay, let's let's say, for instance, this is your music track, right? And you want to make it stretch all the way out here, but obviously you're, you're at the end of your clip. You know, this is the entire thing. You can't make it longer, or can you? Um, so... Generally, what you would do is you would go ahead, drag this, copy, paste, and fill out the middle. No, there is a better way. If you go over here to Ripple Edit Tool, which is something you're probably familiar with, and hold the button down and go to Remix Tool, I think you can kind of predict where this is going. If you select your clip, you can drag it now. Drag it all the way to the end point, wherever you want it to go. Let's make it the entire thing. It will open up Essential Sound Take that music track and elongate the entire thing. Where was this when I started editing? And it's not even like, these are, these are like loop points, right? So it's pretty simple the way that it works, but I didn't do anything else. I just clicked and I dragged. And say you want to get this endpoint over here, do it again. Make it a little bit longer, like so. It moves up a little bit. Make it a little bit longer after that. It moves up a little bit. And you just keep going. Now the end point is precisely on the end of the video. This is remarkable. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it for yourself. I just felt like I had to share this. And like I said, I, I didn't have a video for today. This is a last minute thing. I'm making a video every single day. Um, and I feel like this is a pretty essential tip for anybody that makes videos on a regular basis. <laughs> All right, I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You're amazing, you're beautiful. And I will catch you guys tomorrow where hopefully there's a video that isn't completely corrupt. All right, catch you in the next one. Peace.